So just talk about a little bit about what is the purpose of this all uh, day event, our turn, making movies. What, what is your hope coming out of this? Oh, um, well, there's actually a very specific goal for the um, event. Um, and that's because I um, proposed this event uh, for a grant um, through the school um, as a part of their student equity program. And equity has to deal with, um, I'm sure you know, fairness. And um, um, historically, women have been underrepresented in the film industry, and that does trickle down to the colleges um, in our film production courses, we typically see uh, less women enrolled um, than in the general population. And mm-hmm. we're trying to improve those numbers by having, um, you know, more women participate in the storytelling process in uh, the professional world by more women trained, uh, you know, before they hit the job market. And so right. the grant was awarded specifically to boost uh, involvement of females in film production. Okay. Um, who sponsors this? Is this by Long Beach City College, and are they the persons that gave you the grant as well? Yes. Uh, the The money actually comes from the state. There's a okay. statewide equity initiative, and so right. all of the community colleges are getting this kind of money. And okay. Long Beach City College got their, uh, their funding for equity programs and then um, the grant application went to the student success leadership here at this campus and, you know, based on the data at this college specifically. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, who should attend this, this event? Yeah, well, any, any female. <laughs> we do have age restriction. We, we want um, females that are 17 and older, you know, basically women that are in the decision-making process of uh, what they, you know, want to study and and maybe where they want to head with their lives. So um, we're targeting seniors in high school and and men of all ages. So it's going to be an an interesting and and, um, wonderful mix at the event because we do have uh, people coming that are in high school, and we also have women who are considering career changes coming as well. Right, so right, I, right. I, we have a broad broad range of ages, which I think can only help the event um, be fantastic to create that kind of community um, amongst women, you know, of all ages. Um, give us an idea of what's going to happen. I was looking at your agenda. Tell us a little bit about what uh, they will discover, including the speakers that will be there. Oh, well, um, the, we have a very tight schedule, actually, because, I mean, it was so <laughs> much, it was so much <laughs> fun. It was so much fun planning this event, and then originally I was contemplating something maybe two days or even a week long, but I, I thought it would be hard to get people uh, to be able to attend um, an entire week program, you know, because everybody's so busy. So um, we start off with a panel of um, speakers, of all women who work in the entertainment industry, in various um, aspects of the entertainment industry, we have a um, Academy-nominated director coming. We have um, a director of photography. We have a sound designer whose credits are her IMDb credits are miles long <laughs> because she's right. been working um, in the industry since the '80s. Um, she worked on, for example, *Return of the Jedi*. And we also have a producer going to be sitting on the panel and a very, very accomplished writer um, and another a, a director of photography who's also, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to call her an adventure filmmaker because she, she's been to, <laughs> to continents that most people don't go to <laughs> making right, films. Right, right. Yeah, so we have a wide mix of, of women sitting on the panel, a wide variety of ages, a wide variety of experiences, and they're just going to talk about... Um, their experiences being women in uh, film and television, and that's how the event gets kicked off. And then we have a bunch of workshops. Right. And I I can see some of the workshops here on on the website is sound design, lighting, writing, camera, uh, directing scenes. So it it sounds like it's it's right across the board. Um, I guess the the real question I have as a follow-up to this workshop is, just in terms of, like, 
what after the the, the, the the conference? I mean, one of the things about, you know, this, these are obviously, I love going to these things because they're great, <clears throat> not only just for learning, but also a great way of, of making contacts. What are the kind of yeah, challenges yeah, I think it will be. looking ahead? What do you think are the challenges looking ahead after the event for these young people? Are they are you looking for these young people to come and take classes at um, enroll at LBCC in the film uh, division, or is there something more to it than that? Well, I I, I mean ultimately yes. I mean our 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 goal is to actually boost enrollment. That's what the equity um, right. grant was for, was to, to encourage more women to, I mean, yes, in the broader perspective, yes, get more women into the film industry and more women um, in those decision-making um, roles so that they are more stories being told about women, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, right, right. I mean, clearly that's that's a... You know, it's a national issue. It's a global issue. The numbers are really clear. Whether it's um, you know USC's Annenberg School of Communications doing the study, or whether it's UCLA's Ralph Bunch <laughs> um, yeah. Institute doing the study, the they, the studies there's many studies showing that women are severely underrepresented. But because this is Long Beach City College, and it is money specifically set aside to create more access. And that's that's the that's actually the key term we use um, with this grant and with this event is access. We want more women to have access to training, and right. that is the goal to get more women training. Because um, I know myself as a female, um, I think I was a little intimidated about getting into film, and so I didn't study it as an undergraduate. I only studied it in grad school after I was an adult, and I think it's because. It, it seemed a little scary, and it didn't seem like um, there were any friendly, outstretched hands saying, here, come and try this. It's actually not as hard as it looks, you know? I mean, filmmaking, right. of course, is hard. It's hard work, but there are things about making films that anybody can really learn, you know, if, if you really right. want to. <laughs> you right. know, if, if, if you're inclined to learn about it, it it's, it's uh, not an esoteric, mysterious art. It, they're a concrete rules and, um, you know, um, aesthetics that anybody can learn. And so I think women don't realize that it can learn it like they can learn any other skill. Okay. So if someone wants to attend, how do they go about doing it? Mm-hmm. Well, um, it's really simple. They can actually just go to our uh, website. It's it's a little long, the, the web address. It's ourturnmakingmovies.org. Um, but they can go there. It's pretty simple. That's the easiest way to find out about the event. And they can just look at the schedule, make sure it fits within their, uh, you know, in their calendar, and then um, hit the register now button. Right, which is at the bottom of the of the of the of the, um, the web page. Yeah. Fantastic. And um, is there an if they want to talk to somebody to get some more information? Is there a number or a person they can talk to, or is everything just going to be on the website? No, no, they can call me or or, or write. Um, you know, there is a there is actually a flyer, um, and in fact, I'll make it easy. Instead of having people, you know, reciting right now my contact info, which people then have to grab a pen and write down, um, they can actually just go to that website and the flyer is there, and my contact info is there, and they can most definitely contact me. Well, I want to thank you for for Danielle uh, Stallings for taking the time to speak to uh, Palacio Magazine, and. Um, Good luck with your conference, and we'll do our best to uh, promote it. Oh, thank thank you you so much, and thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. 